Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will assemble a Pelton wheel turbine in SolidWorks. So let's start by pressing new and then opening an assembly. Close this dialog. I will drop all the parts manually from the folder. If you want this folder for your practice, text me on my Facebook page. Press and hold Ctrl key and select multiple items one by one. Now drag them into the SOLIDWORKS assembly. As you can see I am trying to move the shaft but it is fixed. So right click on it and then click on float. Now right click on the bearing housing and fix it. Click on the cylindrical face of shaft and select mate. And then click on this cylindrical face to make a mate. Click on OK and press and hold Ctrl key and drag the bearing to make duplicate. Now click on this cylindrical face of bearing and select mate with the cylindrical face of shaft. Same process for the other bearing. Press OK. Now create a mate for this face of shaft with this face of bearing. Same process for other side of shaft with other bearing. Now create a mate for this face of bearing with this face of bearing housing. Mate the cylindrical face of seal with the bearing housing. Align the bearing housing with the seal by mating them. Now bore of runner disc with the shaft. Check the alignment. If you found it opposite, change the direction from here. Lock the rotation by checking into this box. Now align the disc at the end of shaft by mating this face of shaft with this face of disc. Press OK button and drop runner washer from folder. Assemble it with the shaft and disc. Same process for the bolt. Now 
mate this face of disc with this face of bucket match both of these holes with the disc holes press ok and make a duplicate of this bolt mate it with the bucket hole create another duplicate for this bolt assemble it with the another hole of bucket now align them properly press ok and then click on the arrow below the linear component pattern and select circular component pattern now select bucket and both of these bolts and then click on this box and then select this circle as pattern axis and the quantity is 12 now press ok you can rotate it to verify now drop casing frame along with the side plates in the assembly drag them away from each other assemble this plate with the bearing housing Now the casing frame with that plate assemble also the rest of the plates with the casing frame If you have selected any face or edge mistakenly right click on that and delete it
Make a duplicate for this plate. Now click on these players and change their transparency. The turbine will rotate on this way. So be careful while assembling this plate. The hole on that plate must be in front of bucket instead of back side. Change the direction if needed. In this case we need to change the direction. Now assembling discharge tube plate. Change the direction. Change direction once again. Now drag the nozzle assembly here. There is another video on assembling nozzle assembly, you can find it in the description of this video. Assemble this nozzle assembly with the top plate of casing. Set the direction of intake adapter for panel stock pipe. Now the assembly is ready. If you want to change the appearance, click on that part and then click on the little arrow in front of appearance button and then select the part from here you can select any color
Thanks for sparing time. If you have any question in this regard, a link to my Facebook page is written in the description of this video. Do not hesitate to text me and please don't forget to subscribe.